Hey, hey, beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome back, guys. I'm going to use this deck here. Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius, please and thank you. Ooh, good news about money. What's going on? Some kind of... Uh, something justice something legal it's good news well it looks as though Hmm, looks as though somebody made the wrong decision. Uh, Sagittarius, some tower is here. And it's like there's love here or abundance. This is the cup runneth over. Koi fish are in the pond. And it's looking like whatever you're doing, it's good news. Um... And it's looking like you're assisting um, other people as well here, Saj. Oh, well. Somebody was very selfish here. Self-indulgent. Chose someone else. What's this? Oh, my Jesus. Lord, look at you go. Well, you're headed straight to the sun. This is tangible. This is like uh, you standing your ground. Someone was very deceptive. So something's going on here. Five of Swords. Somebody is feeling defeated or they're jealous here. Feeling like a fool. Feeling very insecure. It's being learning something here. Leaving you to toil and labor on something. You're getting a victory. Oh, shit. So somebody's... What's going on here? Oh. Oh. What is going on here? <coughs> Look at this wealth you're getting. Treasure chest. Uh, looks like somebody's emotionally wounded that you're getting a victory. You are getting justice. <laughs> Whoa, you've taken your power back. Look at you go. Oh my word. The Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, a treasure chest. You're getting some good news here. You're getting some sort of victory here. Somebody is emotionally wounded, though, that you are. Someone's in their feels. Someone's in their emotions. They're being haunted by your memory. Someone is emotionally wounded. They are... I don't know if they tried to sabotage you or if this person self-sabotaged themselves. Let's go clarify this. Yeah. Hangman. Hmm. 
God. See what I don't understand. This person is feeling like this is mental. This is like nothing. Not one of these swords have touched that person. Not one of them have touched that person's back. Not one of them. This is melodramatic. Ooh. Look. That, um... The hermit in reverse. This was not very wise. This is someone. Who refuses to see something. Um. Why have they got their eyes closed? You know, like, they don't see the cups that are beside them. They don't see the cup that's being offered to them. They got their eyes closed. Oh, jeez. This person is being emotionally or mentally draining. They are mentally and emotionally drained. This person's like carrying 10 wands on their back. Like everything is such a burden. Everything is just so heavy here. Heaviness, heaviness. Heavy emotions, heavy mentally, mentally and emotionally, but not one of those swords penetrated that person. Someone is being melodramatic about their emotions mentally and emotionally. They're thinking, oh, I'm, you know, I'm so burdened. I'm so not interested. I'm so melodramatic here. This is a king of cops. It's like they're emotional baggage. They're emotional. It's like oh jeez, you poor thing. That's what I mean. It's like so like give me a break. This is mental an emotional baggage that this person's been carrying around here. <clears throat> this is the king of wands. What are they trying? We're the king of cops or they're the same person. It's like they're being melodramatic. Everybody's doing something to them. Everybody's hurting their feelings. This is melodrama overload. Go figure. The devil. What's this? Dark thoughts and like... Mm. Someone's freaking obsessed with 
with you, Sagittarius. Somebody's obsessed with what you're doing. Somebody's obsessed. They are. You're like home to them. This is somebody's like building a solid foundation. This is somebody, somebody's obsessed with you. What the hell is this all about? So you've moved on and they're angry. Ooh. <laughs> this person's like knocking over all these cups along their way. It's like Well, looking at, looking at you, Saj. Someone is seeing you <clears throat> as fulfillment. This is weird in this deck. Sagittarius, this person who is walking away from something or walking towards someone, this person is led by the staff that they're carrying. And it's like they are looking into the horizon. They see a new day dawning at Sag. Somebody could be walking away from this devil energy and they could be walking toward you, Sagittarius, on bended knee at the River of Tears. Wow, looking at you, looking at the Empress. Oh my Lord, the Ten of Cups. Look at the Empress, the Angel of Balance here, the Star and the Ten of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. The ultimate. Someone is crying over spilt milk. Somebody really got in their headspace. Somebody really got in to some negative mental and emotional place here over you, Saj. It's like they're sitting there crying over spilt milk. Well, it's looking like they thought that they would venture off looking for something more fulfilling and ended up with less. It's like they were searching for more fulfillment. But the thing is, is that they were so busy being melodramatic, so busy being caught up in their own emotions, caught up in their own feelings, caught up in their own pain and suffering that they didn't see yours. It's almost like they were being mel this is a king of cups or or this emperor take it for what it's worth. 
They're crying over spilt milk because they thought that they were going to venture out and find something more fulfilling. But they ended back at the River of Tears. Crying over spilt milk. Crying about... Poor me. The victim. I am emotionally... They're on emotional, mental overload. Baggage. This person is so weighted down with their own feelings, their own emotions, that they didn't see the damage that they was causing to everyone else. They didn't. They're being melodramatic. They're lying. Now they're sitting at the river of tears, remi being reminded about the Wheel of Fortune, the opportunity that they had. And they're feeling like the victim, just like I said. This is a person who refuses to see their own side, their own baggage, their own emotions, their own feelings, their own thoughts. This is somebody who is in complete victim mentality and is so focused in on their pain, the me, their self-interest. What about me? What about me? That they don't fucking see that they're missing out on probably the best opportunities of their life. Victimhood. They had a soulmate. They had a high priestess and they broke their heart. Look at this person. It's like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, they're emotionally immature. And it's almost like they're emotionally immature. Like they can't even resonate. Like they can't grasp or didn't grasp. You know, like they were feeling sorry for themselves. They were playing the victim. They're being melodramatic. Like everything is, but there wasn't a damn sword that touched their back. But they're flat out on the ground like they're the ones who are going through the suffering. They're the ones that are experiencing the pain. Not having a clue, being completely blind to the pain and the suffering that they have been um, causing other people in their life including you, but others as well. They refuse. It's like they're lying to themselves. They're cheating themselves out of their own opportunities, out of their own happiness, out of their own healing, out of their own everything. This is a person who... I'm in my fields. And everyone, everyone should stop. The world does not evolve and revolve around these people. This is someone being mellow, mellow, dramatic, like, this happened to me. I'm the victim. I'm the one that got betrayed. Without opening their eyes to see that they caused it themselves. There's a damn sword in their back. And here they're like laying on their deathbed. You know, oh my God. I'm injured. I'm injured. Without seeing all the cups that they spilt along the way in everybody else's life. I'm sorry. They're a very selfish individual. This is someone completely mentally and emotionally melodramatic. 
you know, this is the type that if they got a little scratch on them, they think they're going to die. You know, oh my God, I'm injured, I'm injured, I'm injured. I've sustained an injury. Well, fuck off. Look at the damage you've caused to everybody else. They're obsessed with you, Sag. But they got mental and emotional issues. Yeah, they do. They got baggage. It's uh, I'm not making fun of them either. Everybody has baggage. That's not what I'm saying. It's just like after a certain amount of time, when you have that amount of baggage, the average person will turn around and say, what did I do? Is it some, is it me? I, am I the problem? This person's like lying to themselves. Oh, I'm not the problem. It's everybody else's problem. Oh, I'm not the one that did that. Everyone else did this to me. No, they fucking didn't. They're looking for empathy and they're looking for sympathy. But they show none to nobody else because it would take the attention off of them. This is somebody who thinks the whole world evolves around them as soon as I said it. Yeah. Well, well you're out here toiling and laboring. They're out there feeling sorry to live like a jackass fool. You're out there toiling and laboring. And this person didn't care that they caused you pain, that they broke your heart, that they turned your world upside down, that they, it was all about them, my pain, me, what about me, what about my hurt, what about my suffering, what about, you did it, you dumbass. You did it. Oh. Fool. They are emotionally immature. They have a beginner's mind. They act like a child. They act like a child. Come fix me. I'm broken. Come fix me. I've been wounded. Come fix me. I need loving. But they won't offer any. Trinkets. Tidbits. Like they have emotions. <laughs> Deep emotions. For them, their suffering, their pain, their victimhood, but nobody else that they hurt. Take care. <laughs>